For more than a hundred years, Mohammed Salama's family has been dredging the mud from the Nile and using it to help transform the landscape of this Luxor community. They make around 60,000 bricks a month, enough to build an average home. The labor-intensive technique is unchanged since antiquity. Mohammed, now that you've started mixing the mud, can I help you? Wow, this is quite thick. The mud is rich in clay. They've also mixed straw into it, and that's just to bind it. And one of the other elements is manure, which I'm not too thrilled about, but it works. Once the clay has been properly mixed, it's transported to the courtyard where Mohammed shows me how to craft my first brick. It seems easy enough, at least after some instruction, and now it's when we appreciate the sweltering heat. The bricks are going to lay here under the sun. Mohammed, how long do we need to leave them here to dry? So at least 15 days. It takes 15 days, they'll stay under the sun, dry out, and then that's when they'll be taken to what they call the Amina, a fire where the bricks bake, just to make them more sturdy. Around once a month, Mohammed will stack raw dried bricks and light a fire beneath them. He uses the wood of date palm trees for fuel to keep the bricks at the right temperature. This is backbreaking work. Why have you done it for so long? The process of firing was introduced by the Romans almost 2,000 years ago. It further strengthens the bricks and gives them a more golden colour. Archaeological finds have shown mud bricks date back as long as Egyptian civilization. But this 5,000 year old industry is now in danger of dying out. After 24 hours in the fire, the brick is ready to use. The question is, will it last another 5,000 years? <laughs> 